charge told me to shoot the old man. I said, what's the point? He's already dead. He said, the point is I gave you a command. And if you don't obey it, then I'm going to shoot you. And they were all laughing and he started to say, so you love this old bastard enough to shed tears over him? Then why don't you get down there with him? And he pushed me in the hole. And I fell against that old man's body. And they all started shouting, shoot him, shoot him. And I kept trying to climb out, but they kept pushing me back in just like they had done that old man before. And I knew that if I didn't do what they said, that I wasn't coming out of that hole alive. I have a motto, screw him. Okay, if I'm horny, I'll screw him. Ask me how I feel about a man, screw him. <laughs> okay, I get it, but don't you think you're coming from a more uh, bitter place? Okay, maybe so. But I'm on my pimp game right now, because this rules all walks of life. RuPaul, a man will buy a really nice car, or this. Okay. He will buy the biggest house on the hill, even if he can't afford it, just to get this. He will lie, cheat, steal, just for this. And once I realized that, I had to ask myself a very important question I think you should ask yourself. What? Why am I being so stupid for all these men? You know what? Um, my mother claimed for six years that she saw the spirit of my dead grandpa every day sitting on her front porch. She said he would tell her to rip down the kitchen wall. Nothing else, that's it. Now when she would tell me these stories, I didn't know how to take it. I figured it was just some normal effect from her chemo. Until one day she did rip down the kitchen walls with her bare hands only to find that mildew and asbestos were hiding there. So now my mom is here today doing well and has been cancer free for the past 11 years, all because she listened to the spirit of my grandpa John. So you call her and you tell her how stupid she is.